Hi everyone, welcome to my week four update, uh, which was due Monday, a couple of days behind. Um, last week, in the fourth week since my surgery, I lost one kilo. So that's a total of 6.1 kilos since my surgery, um, and a total of 10.2 since my pre-op appointment, um, since my pre-op diet started. So in six weeks, that's pretty good. Um, I am just doing a quick update to let you know so in the last fortnight i did my measurements again so first fortnight i lost 27 centimeters off my body this fortnight i lost 17 centimeters so that's pretty awesome i'm noticing it in my face in my jawline um, and also in my clothes so i'm still wearing the same clothes but i'm starting to look like i've stolen shirts out of my mum's for dress up so i'm gonna have to look at buying some clothes i'm very strict on my wardrobe i don't have a lot of extras hanging around <laughs> hanging anyway that's terrible um so i will definitely have to be buying some things pretty soon um because i just don't have anything to replace it with um all my clothes are my size, apart from a couple of jackets and a couple of formal dresses, which I won't wear to work, obviously. That would be weird. Um, and let's see what else. Um, Energy-wise, I'm starting to pick up a bit. I am really struggling to get protein in. I can't eat eggs. They make me vomit. Although I did manage to keep some scrambled eggs down, but I had to lie down for an hour after I ate them just because I felt so awful. Um, last night I tried lamb and I managed two little squares, like a centimeter square. Um, and I chewed it like 45 times and I had two little tiny bits of sweet potato mash and it all came back. And then I had terrible stomach pains the rest of the night. Um, so that's not good. Um, my favorites, I've sort of fallen into a bit of a pattern where I have yogurt and cereal for breakfast and then I make a coffee and I take that to work and I have been taking my shakes, but I have been really struggling to drink them. And that's my main source of protein. I get 30 grams of protein in my shake and my multi with my iron. So if I don't drink it, I get that. Um, and I think that's why I'm sore, but also it's going to rain in a couple of days because every bone in my body is aching pardon me i'm gonna sneeze in a minute no it went away um and so um i'm really really sore my shoulder's a lot better i can actually move my arm and i can actually touch my shoulder this one when i couldn't this was so sore last week um so i'm happy about that um it is kicking into high gear for term four for us we have camps year 11 camp then we have um, primary school in swimming carnival tomorrow and then on monday we have a secondary swimming carnival and then on wednesday we have awards night and on wednesday day we have the practice um and then it comes down again and then we have three weeks of exams for year 12s and then we have their graduation and awards um great a guard of honor where they all um, at our school they get all the students from prep to year 11 to line up and form a guard of honor all the way from the front of the school and the kids walk through it um and there's a tradition where you like make um big lays like hawaiian flower lays but instead you fill them with chocolate or i've seen um cheeseburgers from mcdonald's i've seen sausage rolls um and i've seen kids covered to hear with them so it's pretty cool so you can put them on and you cheer and everything so that's going to be in week um seven and then week eight is going to be um the musical and week nine is more awards nights and then that's it so very full on it's getting crazy um i have been doing well at work i think i feel like i'm coping um i haven't had any vomiting at work which is a big fear and i haven't had any bathroom disasters which was another really big fear um i'm playing it really careful so just things that i know i can eat like um, pumpkin soup or yogurt i'm not trying any 
anything at all as much as I would like to sometimes um, but for me it's not that I'm hungry I want that taste so I wanted toast with the butter and Vegemite I wasn't hungry I just wanted to eat it so, um, so after I have my lunch and um, then I'm coming home and I have a cross kit so happy I can eat a cross kit um, and I break it in half and half has peanut butter sometimes peanut butter and cheese Sometimes just peanut butter and the other half has um, the Philly and chili pour over Philly cheese on it. And I can eat the whole cracker and I do quite easily. It doesn't cause any pain at all. And then um, I wait half an hour. I've decided from today onwards after my third disastrous day trying to drink a shake after it has, it's not mushy. Like I like them to be really icy and taste good they taste good when they're really icy um it's not cutting it at work so i'm gonna go back to having coffee at work um and drinking my two bottles of um sorry three bottles of protein water so that's 750 mils plus um coffees plus at night i'm going to have um so my cracker after work and then i'm going to have a protein shake for dinner while i'm getting in this stage where i cannot eat anything else um I don't do fish, I'm allergic to most fish, I have a reaction to it, um, and there's only so much tinned chicken and baked beans a girl can eat, so um, I'm just, it's just time, I just need to let my tummy heal, so I have my phone call with my surgeon this Saturday, um, and that's going to be very cool. So looking forward to that. All of my scars look amazing. You can hardly see them. They're just these little tiny things. Um, there's no bruising. There's no bleeding. It's pretty awesome. So I'm very blessed. Um, yeah. But that's pretty much me this week. Um, I have just really enjoyed... Um, the feeling of putting on clothes this week or the feeling of just being in my clothes they're not tight um, and I can feel them getting looser um, and actually one shirt I can no longer wear it's just gotten way too big and this one is nearly just about and then, sorry two because um, the cleavage has dropped down dramatically because there's less of me so that's not appropriate to wear any longer in a classroom so yeah but um I'm happy. I'm looking forward to, in a year's time, looking back at these diary entries and seeing how much my hair has grown and seeing the difference in my face. And yeah, so thanks for being along for the journey and um, I'll see you next week.